Hey Scott, hi everyone. Mayor, good morning to you. Happy Monday. Great to have Thank you, you here. Thank you. Happy Monday, traders. How's my sound? Sound is perfect. Okay, good. Yes, hi, traders. Fine. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your traders in our in live trading room. And of course, those of you who join us here in our free YouTube trading room, please give us a like. It helps our channel. We will appreciate that. Taking a look at the S&P traders, uh, the S&P is up 0.1%, a small gap up. However, it's a big gap up actually because we moved up dramatically on Friday. And to start the week with a small gap up rather than a pullback, it's actually quite an interesting move. Normally, you would expect quite a big pullback. We don't have that today which means more buyers than sellers. You can see that uh, Tesla is up today, 1.3%. On the other hand, we've got uh, Mara down, Meta is down, Mara is down 6%, almost 7. Meta is down 0.8%, PayPal is strong, up 0.8%. There's plenty of other movers. AMD, nice move up this morning. Yeah, I think Tesla's going to be my call this morning, 172. I would definitely like Mayor to charts are yours. a long in Tesla. Yeah, I'll show my charts now. 172 post here on Tesla, small share size. No trade yet on Tesla. I'm waiting for yeah, things to EL clear long. out a little bit. EL long this morning, 207. Small share size, I'm going to add... Looking for multiple points on this. I want to go full share size here. Let it drop below 207. Then we're going to get it on the way up here. Actually, I'm going to come in right here, traders. I'm going to come in here at 207.50. I'll repost this here. 207.50 on EL. If it goes under 207. Yeah, there we go. Okay, 207. I won't have to repost it. And 207 is going to be my entry here on EL. Estee Lauder. If you're in the Tesla trade, I'm going to add over 173. Go full share size on Tesla. Microsoft is weak. Market's initial move is slightly down. What was a zero point up, one percent move up now is at zero. Nasdaq is down zero point Netflix is very strong. I'm still waiting. We can see the Tesla. 171 break and I will be out of Tesla. Tesla started with the gap up, came down, pulled back up. Now it's looking for direction. Now if the direction is going to be up, I'll happily join Scott. I was looking for some kind of a confirmation. So... If Tesla's going to move over 172.30, I'll be interested in going long. But it's just moved under the lows. Still holding on, bouncing off that whole number 171. I'm still in the EL trade. EL, I'm looking for I'm looking for that 210 area on EL to be up front with everybody here. And if we can get past the 208, uh, we'll add. And then hopefully see two more points here in EL. Just be patient this morning with the market searching for direction. Spy just went red for a moment. Bounce back now. We're working on a green candle. Tesla's looking better here. 
We've got a green candle, as Scott just mentioned in the S&P. It's a small green candle. Still waiting for some kind of a confirmation. Tesla is rebounding here again. My entry point is going to be over 172.20. I'm posting it. Let me see, IE. Uh... Is that S-E? S-E long from YouTube? Where, where Meta is here, S-E. Guys, I'm posting S-C-H-W right. over 50. Schwab. I'll take this trade. Coming in from YouTube, coming in from L-E. I like the trade, S-E long over 84. Small share size to start. See if we can get this to go. Here's the post. Okay, watch SE here. Tesla just messing around with us right now. Hey, Mayor, hey, Scott. Can I get a quick sound test, please? Hi, Yogi. Yogi, doing great this morning. Good morning to you. Sound okay, good. I'm long SCHW, just triggered. Full share size on EL. We still have a green candle in the S&P. Target 210. SCHW stop is approximately 30 cents under the lows. RBLX is looking uh, very nice. Over 3670, I like it. No trade SE. Getting close though. Come on, EL. You're going to make my day this morning, aren't you? 210 target EL. 210 target EL. Posted RBLX. Alejandro, I like it. Roblox will be my first trade today, I'm not sure, but uh, so far I like the way it behaves. Apple is at the lows, looks like it could come down, and the Nasdaq is moving down. Nasdaq is down almost 0.3%. We started down 0.1%. I think RBLX is supposed to be reporting tomorrow. I'm not sure. That's why it's up 4%. Guys, I want to go long meta. No, I'm not sure about that. No. Schwab's not doing well. I'm going to move out under the lows. Under 14,971. If it hits that. S&P keeps moving higher. We could be moving over the high soon. 
No trade on SE. Shopify and Uber are moving up. Let's see Amazon, Kevin. Amazon for a short. I really like it. Amazon under 105, 20 cents. I'll join you. Kevin Ross. SCHW could be stopped soon. I don't think LBLX wants to move higher. I'm out of SCHW. 30 cent loser approximately. Waiting for Amazon with uh, Kevin. We like its daily chart. There goes Oxy right now, waiting for that breakout to the upside on OXY. No trade SE, and still in the Tesla trade. Amazon, nine cents away, seven. Nasdaq still coming down, S&P in the middle of the range. Apple moved all the way up to the highs. Well, DVG after what up MD last week. If Apple moves over the highs, we are likely to move higher. Posted it, Mayor. Mayor uh, Firenze is asking about uh, SCHW. Where is your stop loss? It was stopped under the lows, as I mentioned earlier. I'm out with a 30 cent loser. Jeff answered uh, with you. So, Amazon, my first trade today. Maybe I'll add some under the lows. I'm going to go long Netflix over 3 to 6, 60. Be careful, it's a big mover. I'm reducing my size. Let's see Unity. Shopify and Uber are bouncing. Oh, Unity, I missed that. Beautiful shot. Unity. Nice momentum from last week. Guys, I'm going long SMP here. The low. Netflix. A bit earlier. I'm long here. Netflix. I was expecting it to move over 32660 at some point there I've seen more buyers than sellers but I hope I was right Okay, the S&P touched a new low but uh, nothing interesting, just broke it with four cents. The Q's yes, I'm still in the Tesla trade. trade. Richard, nice I'm still in Tesla. In Netflix. Still in Tesla, still in EL. I'm going to go long Meta over 232. I'm watching Apple here, and Apple, I believe, wants to move over the highs which will also likely to move the Nasdaq well it's a bit too early because the S&P is close to the lows I'm against your trades I didn't follow your trades sorry DVG but it did not trigger you know <laughs> One to one in Amazon, we're approaching the lows. S&P is uh, moving under the lows nicely. Hughes was about to say showing us a green candle, but now it's red again. After a Roblox will break 36, I will go long. RBLX, I think we have some strength in it, but uh, I think we need to break 36 first. Amazon, very nice. Where is Kevin? Touch the lows, come on. 
And we are under the Amazon. Thank you, Kevin. Still holding Netflix with Mayer took small share size. Hopefully the market will bounce and then Netflix will move up. It's a bit early to establish market direction here. Netflix could play around a little bit more here. Apple just moved over the highs, which is quite interesting. And although the S&P just touched a new low, it still is a very small downside move. We're down 0.1%, a bit more. And it's not yet, market direction is not yet determined, I believe. I would agree here. Got a little harder time now on Tesla hanging in here at the bottom, and I'm still in the EL trade on EL. I'm looking at 205 would be my stop loss on EL, those of you that are wondering. I'm waiting for SE to turn around now. Okay, Roblox, thank you for doing it. This is what I asked for. 36, 10, 15 cents. I'm still in, uh, in uh, Amazon, still in Netflix, and I'm about to go. Okay, already long uh, Roblox, sorry. Just triggered. Good luck, RBLX, Netflix long, Amazon short. And the BG is shorting Apple. Let's see, Apple. I'm about to go long uh, Google over 106. I took a relatively small size in Netflix and I want to add over 3 to 7. Okay, there we go. Come on. I'm long Google. Tesla bouncing now. Actually, maybe a little bit more size in Google. I will add to Netflix soon over 3 to 7. Again, still small size, not taking big risks here. Adding now to Netflix. Netflix in red. Just added. Hey, Netflix, I'm sorry. I'm long Netflix and I'm long Google. Netflix just moved nicely over the highs. I will really appreciate market direction. If the market will help, it will be very, very nice. Uh, it's again a bit too early to establish market direction here. You like it? Wait, I'm game's not over, Yogi. No, above 28, I will sell some. Beautiful. Boom. Come on. So, traders, those of you that are, are wondering what's being said here in the room, we've, we've started up. Started down, we moved up on one candle, now we're down on two candles. We are red on the SPY right now. So we're searching for direction, as we say. The triple Qs, the same exact thing right now. We're red on the uh, NASDAQ. So waiting to see if we're going to get a bounce or if this is going to be a down day. And if it is, I've chosen the wrong direction because I'm long two stocks right now. and about ready to go long the third on SE. So we'll we also... See. We also need to remember, traders, that we are approaching the 30-minute mark on a Monday morning. There's a lot of open trades, open orders coming out from the weekend. So although the direction of the market is currently slightly down, not much. I mean, the S&P is down 0.1%. This could easily change and we could easily move up from here. Oh, in Netflix, I'm selling some more. Thank you, Mayer, for Netflix. I'm I mean, ready I to sell didn't myself. Take share size, but still. A beautiful breakout. I did not Amazon take my part, myself. 
I think it could and should do more. Netflix. I do have a nice trader, but I think I could do a little bit more. Now, what about Tesla? Should I go long Tesla? Definitely, if the market will move up, Tesla will do that. But you know what? It's not uptrending. It could change directions here, but the question is, is if I should trust it. And the fact is, I don't feel comfortable trusting it. Shop is looking good, traders. I'm going to go long shop over 63.45. Nice, because I'm about to short shop. Mayor, but uh, tomorrow, not today. <laughs> Why tomorrow? You trust Tesla. Yeah, it's extended, it's really yeah. A lot of strength, a lot of momentum. Let's see Tesla. Let's answer Clifton. Do you trust Tesla for long? Um, the answer is no. You know, the daily of shop, you're absolutely right, is uh, very, very extended to the upside. But my experience tells me that charts like this, I mean, when you see such a beautiful uptrend, and actually it's not an uptrend, it's just a spike up, a crazy spike up on the daily, it normally continues. But then you're right, there will be a day where we could enjoy a very nice short in shop. But as long as it keeps moving higher, it takes out a lot of uh, short sellers and it could seconds. continue to spike up. Yeah, that's why I'm waiting for it tomorrow because it looks like uh, the buyers are still uh, chasing Shopify. Uh, can I get a quick sound test because I was cut off, cutting off for a few seconds? Sound good, Yogi. Okay. Both the Qs and the S&P in green right now, we a green candle, not in green. S&P is down 0 0.15, basically flat, no trend, the Qs is weak, 0 0.4, but uh, no trend. In five minutes we'll see probably the Monday reversal. About to go long shop, over 63.45. Uh, Linda, I agree with you, but I think Mayor is right today. I think Shopify, a lot of strength, a lot of buyers. Tomorrow, ah, tomorrow I won't be here. I'm with my daughter. Linda, short tomorrow Shopify, double risk. We will split the earnings. Your profits, only the profits will split. Because remember, I've been in the Tesla trade at 172, targets 173. Muscle long EL this morning at 207. That's Guys, underwater I'm, by about 30 I'm seconds. Long I'm shop. waiting for SE. I'm long shop. And we do have a small green candle in the S&P. And we are very, very close to the 30 minute mark. The S&P is down 0.1%. NASDAQ is down 0.36. But we do have a small green candle and it is approximately the 30 minute mark. And if the market wants to change directions, as normally does happen on a 30 minute mark mark, mark on, on a Monday morning, then I would love it to happen now because this will definitely help me with my long trades. Shop just moved over the highs. It is moving higher with a nice uptrend. I'm still holding to Google, which isn't doing that well. Netflix, which does hold near the highs, did not take a partial in Netflix. I was trusting it to move higher. So far, shop is doing well. Come on, Netflix, another spike up. That's your turning point here. Do it. Wow, oh, Shopify. Shopify. 
Market is holding Come on, Tesla, you give me a little bit of hope. A little bit of hope. Okay, I'm closing Amazon. Okay, now we've got the second green candle. Hey, Roblox. Very green. Roblox. Nice. I actually failed watching it. It looks nice, Roblox, but I'm too busy with other stocks now. Another green candle at the S&P low. Again, very encouraging. Hoping that it's going to have some continuation. It should help my long trades. Your test is doing well, Scott. We see the money reversal. Come on, Netflix, new high. Be nice. Google is recovering here. Definitely not doing what I expected it to do. But a nice recovery. The fact is Google is really just going sideways. A little bit more help. I need the market a little bit higher for Netflix to move to a new high. And to Google to get back to green territory, which is just over 106. And hopefully for shop to move to a new high. Wow, luckily I closed Amazon. Again, traders, uh, we appreciate the fact that you're joining us here in YouTube. Please give us a like. Hit that like button for us. It's a free trading channel and we will appreciate if you do that for us. Okay, Google Roblox, is back to follow? green territory. Netflix is very close to the highs. I do need a spike over the highs, which is 328.50. And there it is again. I'm long EL, long Tesla right now, and just coming into the SE trade at the break of 84 here. I'll have three long trades. Patience is a virtue this morning. Sticking with my plan. Here comes a new high in Netflix. Cool. Yeah, definitely cool. I don't want to use this. I, I need to use this new high as a partial point. I took the risk okay, of okay. waiting for this new high, which I estimated that will come, but it's it was definitely a risk. It pays off right now. But I want to make sure I'm using it. I want to make sure I'm getting my partial here. Oh, look at this beautiful movie, Netflix. And of course, I'm happy that I added some size earlier. Come on, Netflix, a bit more. The market is helping. S&P, green candle. May, you still full share size in Netflix? I took two partials already. Yeah, um, I'm brave today, Yogi. Feeling brave. <laughs> no, what a beautiful format. Hey, good job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful trade. And I'm looking at the S&P, and as long as the S&P is moving up, I'm still feeling brave. Diamond Ants. Mayor today. Okay, take in now my partial in Netflix, took. I've got a very nice winner in Netflix and started with a very small loser in, in SCHW. So um, nicely back to green territory. And of course, I'm waiting for shop and for Google. I've got the feeling I'm going to be very sorry for taking this partial in Netflix here. I think it's a bit extended. Maybe we'll see it moving above uh, 30, but uh, I think we'll see a pullback in Netflix. 
I think we'll see it aiming uh, towards uh, 28, 27 again. After it, we'll move above uh, 330. Let's see coin, DVG. Roblox is working. I'll take my first target in Roblox above 3650. Uh, I know I need to take my partials right now in Roblox. We are exactly one okay, to one. Okay, Shopify. I didn't take full share it's size. It's my target now. Just move Roblox. over 64. I want to get a little bit more. Come on, come on, Shopify. It was there. Spent a few seconds there. Not much. Oh, look at Netflix. Oh, wow. I had the feeling I'm going to be sorry for this partial. It's one dollar higher than the point where I took my partial. More than one dollar. I'm getting ready to sell some more. Yeah, Netflix. Thank you so much, Mayor, for this trade. <laughs> Sold some more on Netflix. Hey, come on, Shopify. Be nice. Yeah, yeah, nice Netflix, still, still running, Fortune 31. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trade in uh, Netflix, beautiful, beautiful daily chart. Oh, 31. Traders, if you're wondering about my Netflix trade, it's just, as Yogi mentioned earlier, it's, the, it's a stock that is trending higher while the market was trending lower. So seriously, there's more buyers than sellers. That's it. That's the only thing I know about Netflix. It's uptrending bought on the pullback it came down a little bit moved back up i added once more and it works great that's it nothing else and of course it got a little bit help from the market bouncing from the lows at the 30 minute mark now the question is whether the market is going to continue moving up if it doesn't i'm going to be in trouble with shop and with google and we do have a red candle right now so Although we did have a pullback at the 30 minute mark, I do not know what's coming next. If uh, the market's going to continue higher, then all of my long trades should do well. The only thing I knew that, knew, expected, is that we will have this 30 minute mark pullback, and that definitely helped Netflix, because Netflix was trending higher without market help and once the market started moving higher netflix moved to a new high and continued to move to new highs so that worked out well but now the question is where the market's going next and so far i'm slightly in red in shop actually at my entry point close to my entry point here but i need to trust the uptrend in shop Problem is, if the market's not going to trend higher, I'm going to be in trouble in shop and in Google. I show Roblox. Let's see shop. Where is Linda? Maybe we'll short Shopify today. Moved above 64? Yeah, 6405. I'm following Shopify. If Shopify will fail and we'll move under the view up and then we'll go back to the view up and the view up will be used as a resistance i will short shopify today hi ah, roblox ah, i was two cents away from my target in roblox touch the view up and fail red oh big red candle in the smp approaching the lows smp is approaching the lows as yogi just mentioned that does not look good I think it is a good time to look for stocks which are relatively weak like NVIDIA. And if the market will move under the lows, it hasn't yet. But if it will move under the lows, we could look for some shorts. We came down dangerously close to the lows, not yet under. But at this point, yeah, you should be back. looking for some stocks which are relatively weak. NVIDIA is definitely weak.
Another weak stock is Baba. So again, have your list of stocks which are relatively weak and if the market will move under, then you should be looking for some shorts. Shopify just recovered and the market is close to the lows. And I'm wondering if I should use this bounce up to reduce my risk. The S&P is close to the lows. S&P just it's touched the lows. S&P is under the lows. S&P just broke Guys, out. I'm yeah. selling my shop and I'm selling my shop and I'm selling Google. I'm out of both. Shop is a small winner. Google is a small loser. Netflix is a big winner. Schwab is a small loser. Here are my results, traders, and I'm done for the day. As long as the market was coming down at the beginning of the trading session, I wasn't that worried because again we moved down there's a big there was a big move on friday so a small pullback is okay but then we moved up at the 30 minute mark and when we moved up at the 30 minute mark i took my profits but now touching the lows after a small pullback i'm out and i'm gonna finish this day up 4600 dollars all based, mainly based, on one trade in Netflix. I trusted Netflix, trusted its uptrend, found a point where I went long. Wasn't that much size, but then I added because Netflix proved to me that it wants to continue higher. And had two more trades, Google and Shop. Google was not a good pick because, as you can see, it's just moving sideways. Maybe it's going to do better a little bit later. Shop, however, is trending higher. But once the S&P just touched the new lows, I don't want to hold both. So Shop ended up as a small winner. No reason to hold when the market cannot be trusted. Google ended up as a small loser, although right now it's moving to the highs. And of course, I started with a small loser in Schwab. So I'm done for the day. I want to thank you very much for following. And again, if you are in YouTube, please give us a like. Here in our live trading room, I want to appreciate the fact that you traded with me. I really liked the trading session today. It was fun. Always nice to start the week on the green day. And I will trade tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. So, let's meet tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, everyone. Bye, traders.